Welcome, 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 welcome to another edition of Hit Refresh Sports. I'm your host, KD. And if my voice sounds a little down, I'll tell you in a minute. But before we get into all that, I want you to give a shout out and send your attention to my host, co-host, Kofi. Three and three. Gloating. Yes, sir. Three and three. Gloating. Yep. I know how to pick them. He been um he been gloating. I know how to pick him all day. Yep, yep. On the phone. Yep. He did pretty good. What's well, name messed me up though. You know he he I guess he's the uh you know the Mister Miyagi <laughs> of sports right now. Three and three. That's good. You know that's that's still five hundred. Look at you, what two and two and five? <laughs> I was on two yesterday, but anyway. <laughs> um, yeah. Welcome to Hit Refresh Sports. <laughs> Um, and we're going to discuss uh, yesterday's adventures in the NFL championship games. But before we begin, I just want to uh, just let everybody know to make sure you subscribe to Hit Refresh TV on YouTube. And make sure you hit us up uh, via email at hitrefreshbutton at gmail.com. And look for us on Instagram and Twitter at Hit Refresh TV. And again, before we uh, start, we want to give this special shout out to our sponsors, Light Snack Delivery. Mm-hmm. And then make sure you order all your f- order your food from Light Snack Delivery. And then when you order, make sure you order those Magic City Wings, whose slogan is, make sure you don't forget to lick the sauce. All right. <laughs> now that we've given them a special shout out, let's uh, go ahead and... Um, Jump right into it, because uh, at this point, everyone knows that the Kansas City Chiefs will be meeting the Philadelphia Eagles. Yep. Fly Eagles fly. For the Super Bowl. Yep. In Arizona. It's supposed to be the Bengals, but yeah, that's whatever. Why is it supposed to be the Bengals? Offside messed up. You want to talk about Offside? Yeah, he messed up. That hurt you? Yeah. That hurt your pick, didn't it? Yeah, it hurt, hurt my pick, didn't it? I could have been 2-0. Yeah, yeah, but, 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 but honestly... They caught it. They got a first down. And it would have been eight seconds to go. Yeah, but it wasn't in field goal range still. You don't think you don't think four seconds, Patrick Mahomes boy, the king of quarterbacks in the NFL, would have pushed that ball up. No, nah, because he was struggling. He was struggling the last the last few drives. He was struggling. You just wanted to see overtime. You you, you just want to see Arrowhead turn the bird head. Yeah, I want to see Burrow head again. Yep. I mean, for for them boys to uh, you know, do what they did going all the way to the Super Bowl last season and then um Championship. Championship this season. I, I mean it was good because I, I like that type of football where you beat my team last year and we got redemption this year. So you know, I, I like that type of stuff. So you're saying it's a rivalry now? Oh, definitely. Like I think the NFL is uh, from here on out like about to put them cuss, on the- cussing in the uh, post game. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, the NFL gonna put them on schedule like Every year now, you think so? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, they're gonna. They're, they, they probably. I thought it would have been the Bills and uh, KC. Not now. Especially, especially, especially when you end it with a controversial call. Yeah. You know, um, I think I think the NFL has found their New York Giants versus Cowboys um, to start the year out. For um, what would that be Labor Day, like a little Labor Day game? I think I think that's a better game, you know, to let them boys, you know, go Tell them to get their redemption early. Bengals and Chiefs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You know, I th- I think that's good that they're doing that. You know, but um, with the Eagles playing the Kansas City Chiefs, this is a uh, also um a game where you'll see uh, Andy Reid's new team facing his old team. How you think that they're going oh, to handle? Eagles, it? yeah. You forgot about that, didn't you? Yeah, Andy Reid. That Andy Reid versus. Yeah. Mid-size Andy Reid. Yeah. That's going to be pretty good. 
That's gonna be pretty good. And I think Eric B. Enemy the has a what's going on? Yeah. The Eagles gonna win though. You think so? Yeah, the Eagles winning. Well, you know what? We we have two weeks because I won't be making my picks um until later. I'm gonna think about this one a little bit because I've been I've been making some controversial picks. I've been picking with emotions. I've been picking with um conspiracy I mean, the theory. Bang, the Bengals one wasn't that bad. Yeah, I'm not technically te- we're gonna get into that, but technically both picks weren't that bad. Yeah. Both picks weren't that bad. Um Four Niners, yeah, it was a bad pick, but yeah. Nah, that wasn't a bad pick, Terrible man. Pick. I mean, I mean he hurt him. Terrible pick. He hurt him. I it told you what they were gonna do. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna say I, I, what I gotta say to that. I'm gonna continue. <laughs> I told the Eagles winning the Super Bowl this year. For sure. Okay, so we got Eric B. Enemy. Mm-hmm. Hold on, just for two seconds. You do know that um, Mahomes was playing with three receivers out. No. Yeah. I didn't know three that. of his starters. Juju, I don't really care no more. Juju was my out. Team, my team been out. I don't really care. You love bringing them boys up. My team out. You love bringing them boys up. Yeah. But um, and so I think for Mahomes to even be in that game, mm-hmm. uh, as much as he was missing all those players, that that was that that shows the uh, resilience, the mastery. It was defense. The wizardry. Defense. Oh, Jones played a heck heck of a game. Mm-hmm. That defensive end played a heck of a game. You know, I don't want to take that away from him. Um. But, you know, to uh, more historical facts, um, Jalen Hurts meeting Patrick Mahomes will be the first Super Bowl ever where two – Black against half black. African-American. <laughs> black against well, half I, I don't know. I, I have black. Is daddy black? Half African. Half African-American. Okay. He half um, half. Two African-American QBs will be facing each other for <laughs> – <It's American. laughs> so For the uh, right to say mm-hmm. – I am the second black QB because they're. I mean, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm lying. The third. Well, no. Who the it, first? It's gonna end up being the. It, if Mahomes win, it'll still be the second. Who the first? Warren Moon or something? Doug Williams, man. He was with the Washington Redskins. Yeah. I didn't know. You was a jitty. You was a jit then. You was a jitty boy. What, what year was that? You was a jitty boy. That had to be like 1987 something. I like that. Born. Oh yeah, that's why you don't know. I'm, I'm giving away my age because I was <laughs> I was a jit I was a jitty bug back then too. So I'm, I'm using that word because you don't know what jitty bug is. I'm a country boy. <laughs> I just taught him what jitty jitty bug was off the air jitty before we came on. I thought you were talking about them jitty bug phones. Now nah, what's a jitty bug phone? You never seen them old jitty bug commercials with the, the white phone? Jitty bug, jitty bug. Uh, you, know, you gonna sing it? <sighs> yeah, sing it. It's like old, old for the old folks. The jitterbug phone. You ain't never seen. I, I've only seen anything for the old folks when they push the little thing when they fall down the stairs. Uh-uh, oh, that was back. This back. This back like early two thousands and stuff. Jitterbug phone. Jitterbug phones. Yeah. You think they could be a sponsor? I don't know. <laughs> jitterbug phones. Okay, I'll take it. All right. <laughs> uh, this is also a uh, shout out to the uh, the African American women of the world. Why? Black girl magic. This will um, be the first Super Bowl where um, Clutch Sports, Nicole Lynn, is uh, the agent for a starting black quarterback. For a starting quarterback. I don't even want to say black. He, he's black, but, you know. For who? Nicole Lynn, Clutch Sports. She's a Jalen Hurts agent. Oh, for real? Come on, man. I don't know these things. I need to let you in on it. Ladies, if you're watching, he knew that. <laughs> he knew that. We don't want we don't want y'all to think that he don't know history like that. There are history being made. Clutch know. sports, you know LeBron James and That's his LeBron. crew, Maverick. That's his stuff. Yeah, yeah, clutch sports, man. He doing his, they doing their thing, man. Mm-hmm. They doing their thing. Um, before we get into the uh, Super Bowl, um, I got some good news for myself. Um, Kellen Moore has been fired as the offensive coordinator of the oh, Dallas Cowboys. Down. It was a mutual agreement. Yeah, I thought he stepped it down. was a mutual agreement to uh, part ways. What what is that? He stepped down. Uh, he said, I want to resign. And that's I was the like, okay. That, that's the white boy version of I got fired, <laughs> but we're gonna let you leave. Mm-hmm. You know they they said they fired the running backs coach. They so, said they fired the defensive end coach uh, Leon Lett. They let him go. So 
for their money. But a mutual agreement stepped down yeah, when it's coming. Y'all never y'all defensive Yeah, you didn't. All them, see, you're not looking at it. Yeah, and, and I understand. I understand you're not you looking at it. No, he done messed up how many times with y'all back in the day? <laughs> what that got to do with him being a defensive? He done messed up. He done lost games for y'all. And y'all, y'all put him on the staff. That's why y'all ain't going to the Super Bowl. Let me, let, me tell you, let me tell you something about Let me tell you something. I, 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 we're out of it, and I, I do not like to get into yeah. the star. Mm-hmm. But um, we look out for our guys. I don't know why. You know what I'm saying? We you shouldn't. When we uh, they side. when they retire, <laughs> we find futures for them in their present. They sorry though. That's why, the, y'all, ain't the, gonna, that's why y'all ain't been to the Super Bowl in how long now? But we ain't let got a ring. You know what I'm saying? We we were trying to bring that winter tradition in 28 there. Twenty eight know? years. Man, all of them scapegoats. Oh, okay. All of them scapegoats. Who else got fired on y'all on y'all staff? Um, it was the running back coach. Yeah. Leon Lett, Kellen Moore. Um, it was a few names on there. Dang. Y'all I think they kept the wide receiver coach. Why they ain't get rid of Mike Murray? Ah, oh, the quarterback coach gone. Who's that? I don't know who the quarterback coach was, but he gone. Well, he had to be because Dak ain't doing nothing. I mean, Dak, man, Dak, Dak getting everybody fired. <laughs> Dak got dead. Yeah, no. Dak got <laughs> dead out of there. Dak got yep. Amari out of there. Yep. Eventually, eventually, you're gonna realize he got Romo out of there. He got Romo out of there. Eventually, you're gonna realize that he finna get. Check this out. We, psh, you gonna end up trading him. Um, Zeke. Zeke gonna be gone. Zeke gonna be gone. Uh, so, you know. You know who y'all need to get rid of, too. Who? Don't, don't let Mike McCarthy go. Oh, no. Mike McCarthy gonna be calling the place. You think so? No. When they got rid of Kellen Moore, they said Mike McCarthy gonna be calling the place. Who's gonna be the offensive coordinator? Mike McCarthy. Oh God! You know he was calling the plays for twelve years with Aaron Rodgers, and and, and they're thinking about getting Aaron Rodgers. Who? Speculation. I mean, We're gonna pull like, some Tom Brady stuff. It still ain't gonna be no good. A good trade clause for Dak. I mean, you saw what Dak Aaron money. Rodgers, you saw Aaron what Aaron Rodgers, Rodgers did to, this year. Anyway, he was horrible. Horrible. But well, they might rejuvenate him. I don't know. Man, who knows? All the old quarterbacks need is a running back and um, a good defense. He's like Tom Brady. He need to go sit his old ass down. All of them need to sit their old ass down. <laughs> Shout out! Shout out to send your old ass down. <laughs> but you know what? That is not. That is in no way disrespecting um, the Hall of Fame caliber play that both Tom Brady. Yeah. Shoot. I'm sorry. And um, Tom and Aaron Rodgers have have put in during their careers, as well as um Matt Ryan, who needs to sit his ass down too. But um. <laughs> Back back to who's back to who's still young and who's still in it. Um you you brought up you brought up it was a bad situation. Uh, we're talking about Osai. Joseph Osai. Hold, first of all, let, let, let's be clear. Mm-hmm. Do you know who the do you know who the MVP of the game was prior to him messing up? Osai. Osai. He played a hell of a game. Everybody knows. Shout out to Osai. Osai played a hell of a game. He just had one. Yeah. One mistake, one mistake, one costly mistake that got him 15 yards, and then the news had uh, Jermaine Pratt um, going in the locker room. They caught a video of him. Yep. This is my last year, man. Mm-hmm. And you gonna mess up and push the man out of bounds? Yeah, touch the court. Who, who's crying? Who, who you think was crying more over the weekend, LeBron or Jermaine Pratt? Oh, sir. You think Osai cried? I mean, I mean, on he on, he was on, on, camera on video. Hard. Oh, they showed him on camera crying. He was crying hard. Man, who raised these weak? Who, who raised these weak Can jitterbugs? Can I tell you? Who raised these weak jitterbugs? He was over there balling, crying. Just, just in case, just in case y'all don't know who he pointing at, he pointing at guy who will be coming up you know, in our <laughs> other segments. You know, as if y'all don't know, I always like you know. <laughs> shout out to Kai. She's sitting over there on the side. You know, you can't see her. Shout out to her. You know, what I'm saying, make sure you comment. And subscribe so you see Kai yep. when she come up on our other segments. Yep. Um, when you scroll down YouTube and you you'll find uh, a lot of work that she puts in with us. Nevertheless, uh, so you say Osai cried more than LeBron? Heck yeah, that he was sad like, what LeBron did though. Oh man, that was he he fit to fit like a ten year old or something. Man. They hit him on the wrist. I'm like, what is he doing? Like that's what you know what I'm saying. Like, I don't know, like. I had respect for him. I was starting to gain respect because I didn't like him when he first came to the league. Because I LeBron? Thought he, yeah, I thought he was just I got too... got a question for you when you finish your statement. I thought he was too arrogant. Like, I'm like, I don't like this arrogant kid. You know what I'm saying? So, now he done grown up. Like, he done humbled himself a little bit. He but, a grown man. Yeah, he, he grew up. So, he done humbled himself. But, 
after I seen that, he done lost some respect again. Like now he got to gain some more respect from me. Do you you don't think they be cheating in Boston? Heck yeah, they be cheating. Okay, I don't like I don't like Boston at all. You know what I'm saying I'm a Hawks fan, so you, you, I don't like the Eastern foes. J- just in case anyone doesn't know, my word for the day is uh, jit. <laughs> jit. <And> jitty bug. <laughs> so LeBron acting like a jitty bug. Yeah. <laughs> He was being a little jitty bug, and I'm not talking about that phone. They do be cheating, though. He was like, like a little jitty bug when he was out there crying, boy. I was they like, said, oh, man. They said that ref, uh, that, that crew. Uh, 26 and 2. Yeah, with them. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. No, 36 and 2. 36 and like that. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. They need to investigate that. Yeah. But, you know, shout out to, shout out to Beverly. That tech with the, with the uh, camera, how he went on court. Mm-hmm. He went on the court and showed him. The dude took a big, I guess a fan took a photo. I'm talking Pat Bell. Pat Bell, boy. He <laughs> took the photo and he went and showed the referee. You can't see it. You blind? Oh, man. They gave him a tech for that. Tech. Well-deserved tech for Pat Bell. Well-deserved tech. I would showed him, too. For Pat Bell. I would have got the camera, too. Yeah. You know. It's clear day. They got him on the arm. Man, them old 50-plus-year-old men don't want to hear they don't want to see about their mistake. And they apologized. But they cost the game. They don't understand that shit. I mean, you know what? Great segue into uh, just like we got cost the game. Yeah, continue. Yesterday's game. Um, first of all, I just want to point out one thing. Dez caught it. No, he didn't. But we're not talking about Dez caught it. Mm-mm. You know, but did Smith catch it? That wasn't the rough in the passing. Did Smith catch it? No, he didn't. No, he did not catch it. And you know, the one thing I will say: the NBA refs apologize. For them, for their mistake. NFL don't never apologize. They never apologize. They you know, like the FBI. The crazy thing is that I like, you know, this is what NFL and FBI are the same people. This is what pissed me off about the NFL. Like they don't reprimand their, their officials when they, you know, lose games for you know teams. You know what I'm saying? They lose the game. They don't give the team a fair shot. So it's like they don't they don't get in trouble. So it's like they don't care to even apologize or nothing. <laughs> got that for because you bringing up an old mystery i know what you're talking about mm-hmm. I, I i know what you're over there crying about no i ain't crying you is crying no you crying i'm just saying they I lose. see it in the inside it ain't just you still crying about the bucks it ain't even you still crying i'm not about even talking about ah, that's why you I'm, brought that's that part up. of it but yeah, i'm not know, talking, I'm talking I, about I, all the games i that felt they, it i felt oh, you i felt i felt you i felt you i'm talking about your energy i'm talking about all the games that they didn't cost people like you know what i'm saying because i don't i'm betting on all these games and i lost a lot of money Wh- which dudes which, which one in particular hurt you the most not that one i ain't i don't even think i had that much money on that one it hurt though didn't it yeah, it hurt. I know it. Because we could have got to the playoffs to the, you know <laughs> that one game. Let me tell you something, man. Admittance is the first step. Admittance is the first step. These refs be, these refs be betting on these games. That's all it, I got to say. You got to let it go. NFL, y'all need to like, invest. If, if I can let this don't make go, any sense. You can let it go. But the NFL need to start investigating these officials before they start putting them on the field. And I don't like that. Fill out the uh, application and get out there and ref, Kofi. I don't know how to official. <laughs> You got 2020 vision? Yeah, but I don't know. You how to still run. run? Yeah, but I don't know. How to Let's run. go. I don't know how these calls and man, that's just training. All right, I feel you. I ain't trying to go to school. I, I understand that. I understand <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, no. But um, great, great uh, acting by Smith. Who um, great acting by Smith, who actually um, did his thing um, by getting up on the. Uh, on the pass and acting like he caught it. And then some good old home cooking, you know, and, and that's what a lot of people get caught up in that home cooking. The, uh, the Philadelphia play by play in the stadium. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess the people that run that, yeah, the video of the jumbo Tron, they did not replay that for the, for the, for, oh, uh, they did it. Oh, they didn't replay it in the stadium for, um, they probably replay San Francisco everything. coach to look at it. Mm-hmm. Just to make sure. And then, you know, Philly. And see, that's what I like about a well-trained team. That's one, one thing Mike McCarthy and the disciplinarians of uh, over at Dallas don't have. Mm-hmm. They had a well-trained team. They got up to the line, ran the play. Rule is, once the play is a snap, no red flag. Yeah. So, shout out to them for doing what they did, but he didn't catch it. Um, I don't believe, in my own opinion, I don't believe it would have had any type of impact on the game moving forward. But it was still early. Um, Christian McCaffrey, who played a heck of a game, 
did make it seven seven. Um that until <laughs> until Hassan Reddick. Until Hassan Reddick. Oh. What is it? The H C L or the UCL? He hit he hit Purdy in the elbow. elbow. Oh man. And yeah. then and then um did he come back again? It was that Sue came yeah. back and pushed the mess out of Josh Johnson, who did, who looked so unprepared. And he went out too? Oh man, Josh 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 Johnson in the I fell asleep. Played like four game. plays. Hold on. I fell asleep on it. Hold on. Hold on. Halftime. The game was over with. Everyone. He's a sportscaster. Or he claims to be. I fell asleep on it. I'm going to need you not to be falling asleep on the game. That was boring. It was a boring game. I didn't want to watch it. <laughs> I didn't want to watch it. Yeah, it was, I mean, it was early. Man, I was tired. You needed your rest. Yeah. But anyway, Josh Johnson... <laughs> did about I four I plays. Josh, I saw Josh Nashon go in, but yeah, he had to go to he had to go to concussion yeah. protocol, and it was over. That was it. And then they had to get Brock back in. Christian McCaffrey ended up who was the third running back. No, he's a, he's the third quarterback. Excuse me. He ended up playing a little bit of quarterback. Yeah, they was what? out there doing some RPO, uh, t- wing T. What? Oh man, it was terrible. Oh, I missed it. It was terrible. That's why I'm glad I didn't watch it. It was 31. I just saw it was 31 and 7. Philadelphia just pinned their ears back and, and, and made it happen. What you they think happened it. to San Francisco then? I'm going to tell you something, man. It wasn't a quarterback situation. No, nah, it wasn't a quarterback situation. Um, What I was looking at is this. And, and I did this. This is my own little study. Shout out to Jalen Hurts. He did a phenomenal job this year. Um, What does he, what does he squat? Like 600? Yeah. Something like that. Six, seven, very, very strong. Six foot two. Yeah, my height. Mm-hmm. Two thirty? About two thirty five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two thirty five. Mm-hmm. Very strong individual. Um the Eagles lost. They went 0 and two. Or was it 0 and three? With Minchu, right? During the during the season. I think so. Yeah. Well they won one with him. That last game, wasn't it? No, 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 no. He can't um Hertz came back to get him in. Okay. Hertz came back to get him in. And so I, I was looking at this. Purdy came in behind Garoppolo and um Trey, whatever his name is. Trey Lance. Trey Lance. See you are a sports cast. You, you know <laughs> Trey Lance. He broke his leg, yeah. Um and went seven and one. Phenomenal. Mm-hmm. Cooper Rush came in um and went four and one. Yeah. Phenomenal. Um Jalen Hurts showed that the Eagles can't win without them. So, so that's on three for the Eagles it's with Jaylen their backup, Hurts. and eleven and two with between San Francisco and Dallas. So we're talking um, fourteen and three mm-hmm. with backup quarterbacks for the last three favorite teams in the NFC round. And I just want to say this: if Jalen Hurts the way those defenses played, if Jalen Hurts was at quarterback on any of those squads with any of their healthy running backs, Jalen Hurts is still in the Super Bowl. You could have put Jalen Hurts with San Francisco, still in the Super Bowl. Could have put Jalen Hurts with Dallas, still in the Super Bowl. Of course, he's still in the Super Bowl with Philly. I like the fact that um, defense, the defenses are playing the way they're playing, um, and they got a, a real job ahead of them you know, with Patrick Mahomes. But I did want to just give Jalen Hurts his props. Um, he should have came to the Falcons for doing what he did. Now, I know I know you can't do that, mm-hmm. and, and I'm speaking hypothetically. But this is what I wanted to say because you fell asleep on the game. The nuances of the game with the defense was if Purdy doesn't get hurt, <clears throat> those defenses – no, excuse me, those running San games. San Francisco? They wear you down. Yeah, you know, you saw you know, I said San Francisco wear down Dallas. Mm-hmm. When our running game, when our running game went out with mm-hmm. Pollard left, I y'all think we could have ran down pass. San Francisco. Yeah, y'all had no yeah. pass. So, so each of the teams were pretty much the same makeup. Now, I will say this: the team that's supposed to be in there is in there. Philly, of all three, had the best defense. Is that year? They had the best defense. That year. I don't want to take anything away from them. Well, I saw on Instagram this one dude, he predicted all the Super Bowls, and they were all correct, all the way to 2028 or something like that. Okay, so here's my question about that. Who justifies that he was, like, not lying? 
You just believe that because he said it? Yeah, because they got all right from all the way up to 2023. Cause the, cause, and the Eagles, he got Eagles on 2023. <laughs> That's the crazy part. Because they wrote it down and you read it and... Yeah. Okay, we got to talk about that. Somebody said he probably already got one of them almanacs from uh, Back to the Future. I oh, wish I, okay, okay. I would, yeah. love, I would love to have one of them. He has the DeLorean. Shoot. He, he, he I driving. Would, I would win. Oh, bye. So, yeah. I'll be like, what's his name? Uh, what's his name? Is he Biff? Is Biff. Biff. I'll be like Biff. Yeah. I'll go right back to bed and go on the street. Exactly. Almanac. That's how you do it. Yep. That's how you do it. And, and, and the lottery. Mm-hmm. Now, now, one thing you did point out. And I know this is a sports segment. Um, and I want to talk about this later. Not in this segment, but later. Because mm-hmm. I had this uh, discussion earlier today. And I just want to point this out, you know, for future reference. Are you MJ or LeBron? MJ. Okay. Okay. All right. So we got to get somebody. We're going to have to get some. We're going to have to get a real LeBron fan. In it. I ain't with LeBron like that. I just noticed that, you know what I'm saying? Because he, he was he was he was acting like a legit bull. Yeah. Shout out to LeBron, though, man. I hope, you know, you got like maybe 140 some odd points to go. So do you oh, think? He probably going to end up getting it. Probably more, young, less than that. Probably like 130, 120. Exactly. Exactly. So, so moving forward, the matchup. I don't want to know who you have. We got two weeks. Mm-hmm. But. Um. Yeah, it ain't time to pick. It ain't time to pick yet. Yeah. I, 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 I do, I do like the fact that uh, also, and I didn't point this out. Um, this will be the first Super Bowl. Um, brother against is it, is it first Super Bowl brother against, against brother. brother? I don't know. I just know the Kelsey's gonna gonna be in it. Yeah. Uh, was Jason, Jason? It might not. I, I think I think brothers have played on the same team. Mm-hmm. But I don't Not know. Each other. I don't know if they faced each other. That'll be funny. I want to see that. You think they're gonna they're gonna talk shit to each other? Well, <laughs> Travis is. He's a talker. He's a talker. Yeah, I can see. He's a talker. Yeah. You know. His brother too too lovable. And and I think I think I I would I would be foolish to believe that Jason has not been watching his brother play and watching the nuances of his games mm-hmm. and. It's hard to look in the trenches and know how to tell your defensive guy how to, you know, go around your brother. Yeah. But it's not that difficult to tell your defensive guy, linebacker, safety, the best way to cover your brother. Mm-hmm. So I think I, I don't I, I do believe Jason will be some points, points and, uh, mm-hmm. You know, and you know what else they're battling for oh, too? Because he probably he probably like, hey, if he do this, he gonna go this way. He gonna go this way. He gonna, yeah, he you know, always, when, he, yeah. when he go when he go drink that Gatorade and he hold it with his left hand. Yeah, he knows. He lining up on the right. You know, yeah. just just yeah. little nuances. I know he knows that about his brother. Yeah. yeah. Um, and they're also fighting for who's gonna get ring number two in the house. Oh, they both got one. They both got oh, one. Oh, that is true. These are the inner workings, and oh, I know Vegas gonna, gonna have these bets. This is gonna be a good. I think it's. I told you it's gonna be Eagles, dude. I already predicted it, but it's gonna be the Eagles. Jason. Well, I got I got one thing I got one thing going for me. Cause I'm not mad that I went on to. Um, but San Francisco, we're still in it. You still have five and we still have five. Oh, you just <laughs> you happy about that. I'm a little, <laughs> I'm a little happy about that. You Even just, though I picked San just, Francisco. You just don't want them to get the six. As far as the Eagles are concerned. The Eagles will end up getting six. What? The Eagles, the Eagles since two thousand three, yeah. yeah, three George houses. That's, yeah. that's pretty good, and they have four total now. Mm-hmm. Um, since um, oh, I was about to say that the Eagles. I like talking a lot of noise because Eagles are an NFC East team, and I like talking a lot of noise at the fact it's, it's. I'm torn. That's my word. I'm torn at the fact that I like talking a lot of noise. At, about the Eagles having only one Super Bowl, yeah, in the NFC East, they're like the bottom of the pit in the NFC East. They'll still be the bottom yeah. at two. Oh yeah, baby. Not in the Washington Redskins. I, mean, I think Washington Commanders have three. Three. The Giants have Washington Commanders sorry team. Three or four, and we have five. Three. Yeah, yeah. Eagles were sitting at zero for the longest till 2018, and so now that, now that they have one, they will make the NFC East look very good. And thank, thank goodness, the NFC East, who did good this year, did find a representative in the Super Bowl. I like that, but I think I, I think I'm still a little bit. Um, there's a part of me 
the uh the competitive spirit, the rivalry, um, wants them to remain at one. No, they ain't gonna remain, they're gonna win. So, you know, now y'all got, said all that. Now y'all got competition. We got competition. Yep. But to I me, mean, shoot, y'all ain't even competition, but yeah. I'm, I'm gonna tell you something though. Let's look at it like this. The Ravens have to. The Eagles might have two, but they have one. How many do the Arizona Cardinals have? Yeah. What's that other bird? Hmm. The other bird. It's like, I, oh, no, no. The Seahawks, the Seahawks have one. Yeah, the Seahawks got one. Seahawks got one. That's almost another, had two. That's another bird. What are you talking about? It's another bird. It's not another bird. I think they call it a dirty bird. It's not a bird. What are you talking about? A falcon's not a bird. See, we we supposed to be getting on this type of situation. I'm just saying, if the Arizona you know Cardinals, if the Arizona Cardinals win a Super Bowl, there will be only one bird left without one. Who? We gonna end up getting one for the Arizona Cardinals. Huh? I hope so. I don't care what you say. I hope so. All y'all ain't nothing but a bunch of birds. Rise up. Whatever, man. Yeah. All right. So speaking of rise up, we're gonna rise up on out of here and look for us to come. You know, this is just a little short segment because we are going to give our picks. Yep. And, and as this uh Super Bowl two weeks develops, especially Super Bowl week, we wanna have some um cast for you. Speaking on our picks, speaking on everything upcoming to the game, it's gonna be a whole lot of um scenarios leading up to the game. Um definitely uh Rihanna doing halftime. Oh yeah. Commercials. Yep. A whole lot of things going to be going on. So I want to make sure you all hit that subscribe button. And make sure you comment. And make sure if you want to um, speak to us about anything, hit us up in the email at hitrefreshbutton at gmail.com. Also, you can find us on Instagram and Twitter at Hit Refresh TV. Also, our YouTube channel, Hit Refresh TV. Once again, shout out to our sponsors, Light Snack. And Magic City Wings. Don't forget to lick the sauce. This is KD signing out. I'm Kofi. And it's Kofi. Mm -hmm. And we about to let it go. Peace. Just know she said she would